The older I get, the more I realize that it is just completely extremely important that I do stretch after exercises. I'm a mixologist. That's pretty good right there. I'm a, I'm a mixologist. Anyone else hate stirring up their coffee because they don't want to ruin the cute little, the cute little uh, layers in it? Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. What's up you guys? Cece back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. First of all, don't mind my nasally sound. I don't know, I'm congested all up and through, so don't mind that. However, if it's your first time watching, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, join the family. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. So you guys, today I figured we would do another fitness vlog. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one, so I figured maybe we'll do these once a month i'll give you some fitness tips we'll do a little body update we'll do some stretching today today is actually a non-workout day so we won't be doing any workouts but i will show you guys just my stretch routine that i've been doing every day because i have been having like some back lower back issues like my back has been hurting a little bit and this week i'm actually getting prepared to do a crazy workout on saturday so today is actually wednesday but on saturday my husband and I have signed up for something called a dry try at our gym so you guys know that I go to Orange Theory and I love it so much they have these specialty workouts and we signed up to do this crazy hard dry try workout which is a 5k on the treadmill which is 3.1 ish miles 2,000 meter row on the rowing machine and then um 300 body weight reps on the weight floor so this week i'm trying to make sure that i'm training and being prepared while at the same time also resting my body to make sure that i'm just i'm feeling good i'm feeling strong i'm feeling limber all that stuff so <laughs> with that being said like i said today is a rest day so i just want to get a really good stretch in and yeah but first things first it is it's kind of late actually it is 10 06 and i have not had my morning coffee yet so y'all know what we about to do let's go ahead and we're gonna make a protein coffee and yeah we need that that caffeine jolt so let's make this protein coffee if you want to know what my protein coffee recipe is then make sure you check out the last fitness vlog i will make sure that it is linked in this video so you can see the recipe let's go stirring up their coffee because they don't want to ruin the cute little the cute little uh layers in it she's good all right y'all so what's up we back in the kitchen right it's 1 30 so i drank my coffee and did a little work and now we're back in the kitchen and we are going to make a meal replacement shake so what i've been doing is on non-workout days i try to eat less than i would on a workout day just because i'm not I'm not losing as many calories or burning as many calories, I should say. So I try to eat a little less. So I try to only eat one meal a day on non-workout days. Uh, sometimes that works out, sometimes that doesn't. It's 1.30, we'll see if it works out today, I don't know. We're gonna make a shake today, which this is technically, I guess, gonna be my first meal of the day. And I'm gonna try a different shake today. So I got sent this huge box full of stuff from 310 Nutrition. Now I'm gonna show you guys what's inside the box. We're gonna make a smoothie and we're gonna test it out today to see if 
it's worth it okay so let me show you what they gave me they gave me a meal replacement shake this is organic and vegan plus um 310 nutrition is also keto and paleo friendly so if that's the the route you're going if that's the the plan that you're on you can also use 310 nutrition so you want to keep that in mind but this is the actual meal replacement shake it is like i said organic and vegan gmo free soy free gluten free and it has 15 grams of protein per serving and this is in the vanilla and yes i am still tracking my macros if you guys watched the last fitness vlog then i showed you guys how i track my macros and my calories and all that i'm still tracking my macros so having 15 grams of protein is good especially on top of the protein coffee that i already drank it is 110 calories for one scoop and yeah that's what it looks like they also have a place where you can go to their website 310nutrition.com slash recipes and you can get some recipes and make whatever type of shakes they sent over the greens this is the all vegan ingredients mixed berry flavor greens so this what is this supposed to be so this guy here you can basically get your greens in for the day your veggies in for the day if you don't want to eat like hard regular veggies you can get them in through the greens. they sent over the collagen peptides this is unflavored it's grass-fed and pasture raised and it supports your bone and joints and also your hair skin and nails and we all want longer healthier hair skin and nails well we don't want it longer skin but y'all know what i mean y'all know what i'm trying to say okay they sent over peanut butter powder so i use this all the time i usually use the pb2 brand but they sent over some and this is basically powdered peanut butter so it's a lot less calories but you still get that flavor i love it this one is 50 calories per two tablespoons they sent two shaker cups this is a oh a stainless steel travel mug how cute oh and a straw oh we love it we love it how cute is that little pink and stainless steel there the straw also we have some beauty melts this also supports healthy hair skin and nails so these are capsules and then I have this little baggie full of stuff. Oh, this is the different types of shakes they have. So this is the toasted coconut meal replacement shake, the whole salted caramel, chocolate flavor, and then another little sample vanilla pack flavor. And then, oh, these are electrolyte drink mixes so they can go inside your water and give you all of your electrolytes so this is lemon lime peach mango and a strawberry and then they give you this little booklet so you can go in you can scan some of the qr codes or the qr code and you can get some recipes and things like that and it just gives you a more more in-depth look at what 310 nutrition actually is is so thank you so much to 310 nutrition for sending this over i'm so excited to dive into this i was going to make a vanilla shake but now i kind of want to mix it and make a salted caramel and vanilla shake because i think that's going to be kind of good i want to mix like one scoop of salted caramel and then one scoop of vanilla and make a shake should we do that we should
All right, you guys, here is the moment of truth. We mixed vanilla with salted caramel. I should've put some chocolate in it. That's what I should've did, but it's cool. Let's see. I'm a mixologist. That's pretty good right there. I'm a, I'm a mixologist. I enjoy that. I enjoy that quite a bit. Okay. Okay, 310. I think we have ourselves a good deal here. Okay, y'all. So, so I will leave a link down below for their website. Make sure you go through that link because if you do, you'll get 15% off of your entire order. If you are looking to do some healthy living like I am, if you can't get your life together and you like, girl, I need help, try yourself some good old meal replacement shakes. That's what always seems to work for me, like being honest. Anytime I'm like, you know what, I'm so serious, I really need to lose this weight or I need to lose some weight more quickly i'll usually start replacing my meals with meal replacement shakes and just taking that one meal out seems to help so much not to mention i can stay within my macros because i'm still getting my protein in this stuff is still good for me you can add your greens you can add your collagen and you're still getting all of those good nutrients but just doing it with less calories. So I love that. Meal replacement shakes also keep me full. You have to make sure you find the right combination for you with the right ingredients so you know you're gonna stay full and it actually helps. So let me be completely transparent. I do not do just the meal replacement shakes when I'm only doing one meal a day. Sometimes I will do, not sometimes, all the time I will do a snack. So I'll either get a built Bar, which I've talked to you guys about built Bars before. I actually need to order some more. I love them so much. Or I will make some boiled eggs, which today I am feeling boiled eggs. So I'm gonna make myself two boiled eggs, have this meal replacement shake, and this will get me through until dinner. Once again, links down below. Go through that link, save yourself 15% off of your order, and thank me later. <laughs>Y'all about to be like, girl, this whole video gonna be in the kitchen? It just might be, okay? Because it's gonna represent, all right? It's gonna represent what I need to do to get on track, okay? Y'all, something I heard years ago, which has always stuck with me, was you cannot out-train a bad diet. Now, if there's one thing I'm going to do, y'all know, it's head to that gym, okay? I love the gym so much. I can exercise every single day, but... When it comes to food, your girl's terrible. With food, with the diet portion, y'all know. Y'all been there. Y'all have seen my struggles. So, um, like I said, today's why my like one meal day. So, what I do on these days is I will eat very good all throughout the day like I'm doing now. And then for dinner, I won't deprive myself. Not that I'm, I go crazy, but I won't be like, okay, I can only have like a salad and a chicken breast for dinner. I'll get a lot of my calories in for the day at dinner. So what I'm gonna eat tonight is, um, it's gonna be pasta. It's gonna be a crock pot meal that we're gonna make right now. It's pasta. I'm not gonna eat any bread. My husband usually makes garlic bread. He cannot eat this without garlic bread, but I'm not gonna have any bread. I'm just gonna have a serving of the pasta. It's so good. So, so good, you guys. It's so easy to make. I believe I've made this on camera before, but if not, you guys are gonna see it here today. It's this Olive Garden pasta. I will make sure the recipe is linked down below in the description box so you guys can look at it. It's not my recipe, but I make it all the time and my family absolutely loves it. It's perfect for like a cozy fall meal. It's like 90 degrees outside, so it's not cozy or, or fall, like fall weather yet, but it's an easy meal. You throw everything in the crock pot and you don't touch it until it's done. Like it's an easy, easy meal. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that now. And yeah, that's what we gonna do.
okay so y'all i feel like i never have all of the ingredients to make things because for some reason i don't check before i go to buy i go to um get ready to make stuff i'm just like oh yeah let's make this and then i never have all the ingredients i don't know but anyway for this you need chicken breast one and a half to two pounds you need a block of cream cheese you need you're supposed to have the the grated parmesan cheese but i got shaved i'll go get grated later for them to put on top i got shaved to go in here for now and then you need the olive garden signature italian dressing 16 ounces but i'm doing a bit a tad bit more chicken than the recipe calls for so i just have another big jar just in case i need more so let's get started easiest meal ever i swear to god the only direction dump everything into the crock pot that's the only direction and then when you're ready to eat it about 15 minutes before you're ready to eat it you put the noodles on the stove and then you mix the noodles in once they're done that is the that's it that's how easy this is watch me money coming money go i've been at it i've been at it on the low trapping out a while i keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you pull up on you let me school nobody here but me and you Got a little ring to it, turn a thing fluid in the coop Why you look, I know it's real I'm on my Marshawn shit, I been really getting a feel You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel But let me tell you what you mean to me Slide on me for that mean greet Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky Taste toasted and be raised soaked in the raincoat Hit the waves quota, I be flossing, I be locked in I was lost here, all that turned me to a target Plotting on me, I be cautious then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson, I'm the man now I got fans now, I'm on cam now, I got plans now I'm finna branch out, grew up quick, but never let go this year All of that bullshit is in my rear hey. Blue tin papers, blowing vapors, wooden traders Long hair killer in my villa, bitch I made it Used to play the play, now I think we major now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to What's up you guys, a long time no talk to, it has been a long day it is 9 3 p.m baby upstairs yelling but i'm about to get my stretch on so i found this 12 minute like beginners relaxing stretch bedtime yoga video on youtube i will link the video down below and i am just about to do that stretch to make sure my muscles are good i do have a workout tomorrow morning like i told you guys so i just want to make sure that i'm nice and loose and i just feel good again i've been trying to stretch every day because i have been having like my lower back on the right it's just been hurting a little bit so i just want to make sure that i am prepared for class tomorrow as well as keeping myself feeling as good as i can for my um, dry try this weekend so really excited about that so let's go ahead and stretch i have a few things to talk to you guys about after that and then i'll let you go
just finished my stretches and it just felt so good to stretch my body. I just feel so loose. It doesn't take that long. Like you don't have to stretch for that long to feel better. And that's something that I'm learning because I would never stretch after my workouts and I would just feel, I don't know, I'd be like, I'm okay, I'm okay. But the older I get, the more I realize that it is just completely extremely important that I do stretch after exercises just to make sure that I don't get like super tight. Like I hate when my muscles feel tight and it also helps with soreness and all of that. So one of the things that I want to work on moving forward is actually becoming more flexible. I have never been a flexible person like ever y'all. I need to do yoga, like for real, because this is my life here. You hear the baby? Mark's up there with him, putting him to bed, because he has just been fussy all day. Well, since he's been home, and it's like, my mom said he was fussy too, and it is just like driving me up the wall. The last few days, he's been super fussy. But, um... Yeah, I just, I, I want to become more flexible. I feel like being able to really sink into my stretches will just help me in the long run with my running and my lifting and all of the other activities that I do in the gym. So being becoming more flexible is actually, I think, going to be like a goal of mine. I know I also told you guys that I was counting my calories and my macros still. Well, I still am, but today, interestingly enough, I did not. But um, I know I did drink 64 ounces of water, which has been my goal. I had a goal of a gallon every day, and I was like, that's, that's just way too... I don't know that's just too much for me right now i'm just getting back into drinking water like that so i think 64 ounces is a good goal and i am almost done with this water in here in this tumbler and once i finish this i'll be at 64 ounces which makes me really happy to hit my goal i've been hitting that goal most days and i feel like it's just been really helping me in the gym being super hydrated so um i've been doing my stretches drinking my water Eating okay, still working on that. Every day is a daily struggle, but today I did really good. I did what I usually do, eat lighter on my non-workout days. So you guys saw, I had my my protein coffee. I had my 310 protein shake. My I did have, let me show y'all, I did have a half of a built Bar, which that was enough. That was all I needed, so I'll eat this other half tomorrow. But this is the, um, which one is this? the mint brownie flavor and it's 130 calories with 17 grams of protein and I had I don't even think I ate half of that but I'm gonna eat the rest of that tomorrow so then I had those two boiled eggs and then I had dinner which you guys just saw me so I feel really good I don't feel super heavy today I don't feel like I overate and I like doing it this way I don't get super hungry or lightheaded or have a headache because I'm still kind of having little snacks throughout the day. So this has been enjoyable. I like doing it like this and I think this is something that I plan on continuing. So other than that, I think that's really it for today. That's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you like these fitness vlogs, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below anything that you want me to hit on in next month's episode. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.